Hello peoples, I just got done watching Bradley Cooper's second feature film, Maestro, his first film in 2018. I really, really liked A Star Is Born. I thought it was a very good directorial debut and I thought this movie was a very strong second outing. I don't know if I like this movie more than A Star Is Born because they're both very different but yet kind of similar, obviously with its characters. But obviously this time around, this is based off a true person, Leonard Bernstein, the famous conductor, follows his marriage. It puts that under a microscope, but not in a lot of ways either. It's a very interesting movie it honestly went by lightning fast it's without credits it is just right at two hours long and i honestly could even use another 20 minutes of this movie this movie has a lot it wants to do with these characters and i think bradley cooper and carrie mulligan were incredibly committed Bradley Cooper in the director's chair is something that continues to impress me considering that he was the guy in the Hangover movies. And so to see him doing roles like this that requires a lot of focus, a lot of precision, and a lot of commitment is really cool to see someone who like did movies like The Hangover is now doing stuff like this. He's a great director and he's a great actor. And I do think this is easily his best performance. Bradley Cooper is phenomenal in this movie and he's completely immersed in Leonard Bernstein. I really, really liked Carrie, Mul Carrie Mulligan in this movie. I know her character is kind of being marketed and being campaigned as the lead, and it's Bradley Cooper's movie. He does a lot here, and I think he's clearly the lead. Carrie Mulligan is still definitely the second lead. It's just funny that when you watch the credits in the movie, it's as if it's Carrie Mulligan, and she's fantastic in it, that's for sure, but I would say it's definitely Cooper's film. Like I said, it was incredibly fast two hours. It went by really, really fast. Um, it was really well paced. But at the same time, like I said, I think it could have used another 20 minutes. I say that as a compliment and I say that as a slight negative as well. The second half of this movie is great. I really like the second half of this movie. The first half of this movie is good. The reason why it's good is because I felt like we needed a little bit more setup for these characters. When I watch the second half, I start to feel that payoff to the setup, but I, yet I felt a little underwhelmed. And I know, yes, it's a biopic. I can't obviously control what happened, but I think we need to needed to relish with these characters a little bit more when they were younger and a little bit more um, when they're alone because a lot of these uh, a lot of this movie um, is focused on obviously the relationship between Leonard Bernstein and his wife Felicia and it felt like his work was somewhat glazed over and I understand if that's a choice you want to make artistically and just solely focus on the man that he was to his family and that's an interesting depiction as well particularly when you towards you get towards the latter half and the end of the movie but I will say the biggest gripe I do have is that now that I've seen the movie, I don't feel like I necessarily learned anything new about these characters. Besides um, appreciating some of the acting and the depth that they brought on there, but on paper it felt like it was very surface value with the exploration with some of their um, traits. Bradley Cooper's direction allows for his performance and um, a lot of people to give them a lot of room to add depth, but when you strictly look at the screenplay, it doesn't feel like it's very insightful beyond the fact that I already knew going into the movie. So by the time the movie was over, I was like, you know, I appreciate it a lot more, but I don't necessarily know anything new. And I maybe I'm just putting it in the biopic box and say, oh, I have to learn something new. But I would have liked to have felt like I had a greater other understanding of these characters versus appreciating um, what the actors did to bring what I already knew forward. Because there's a ton of commitment, particularly from Bradley Cooper. He says a lot and a lot of long pauses, a look on his face, a look in his eye, the way he moves. I, the kudos to him, and of course he also has screenplay credit, and so maybe he had that in mind from the beginning, or maybe his those long pauses were even scripted. And so maybe that was the intention throughout, but it's still a little th gripe that I have where I don't necessarily felt like I had a greater understanding now that I've seen the movie versus before I saw the movie. But like I said, that's my only big gripe. I thought this movie was a great exploration of the character, even though I didn't necessarily learn anything new. And that's okay. I would have liked to learn something new, but I'm not going to be like, oh, the movie sucks because of it. Um, the cast is great. The cinematography is absolutely stunning. This is an incredibly well-made movie from beginning to end. The direction is clear and fierce from Bradley Cooper. Like I said, I know I keep on talking about it. The cinematography is really stunning. We shift aspect ratios throughout time, and we do one at the end. I don't know if it's entirely justified, just beyond the fact of just saying it's later. Overall, my show was a very, very good movie. I highly respect it a lot. It's definitely one of the top 20 of the year or so. I'm very conflicted about my top 10 right now because I have like a lot of high eights right before to get into the top 10, and it 
you know, it's, it's all over the place. Will this make the top 10? Will it not? I kind of think I know already, but that'll be a mystery for when you guys see my top 10 movies of 2023 list within the next few weeks. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to give Maestro an 8.7 out of 10. Very good. If people had to ask me right now, which, which movie do I like more, Star is Born or this? I honestly couldn't tell you. I, I, I'm, part of me is leaning a Star is Born, but I feel like this is a better crafted film. We'll see. Maybe I need to give this one a rewatch. So yeah. Anyways, comment down below what you guys thought of Maestro to live up to your expectations. Are you guys even going to watch it? Do you guys even watch awards movies at this point? So yeah. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.